Innovation rarely stands alone. Striving ahead means following in the footsteps of those who have gone before you. However, what appears to be a brave new world, upon closer inspection, may just be a faint reenactment of the previous path. That's a long way to go about the 1899 series. 1899 is a Netflix series directed by Janch Fries and Baron Bo Oder set in a historical period that is both mysterious and terrifying. After successfully developing the Dark series, which received a warm response from fans, this creative duo will deliver a mysterious story of an ambitious era. Let's explore with Ask K-Pop Entertainment now. The 1899 series promises to continue to be an ambitious period mystery story, set on a migrant boat from Europe to the United States. The passengers came from different parts of Europe. There is a French newlywed, Mathilde Olivier and Jonas Bloquet, a German captain, Andreas Peachman, a Spanish priest and his spoiled brother, Jose Pimento and Miguel Bernardo, Chinese mother and daughter, Gabby Wong and Isabella Wei, the lower deck is full of poor Danish passengers and many others. This is a series about the collective, but at the center of it all is Mora, Emily Beecham, a British doctor who can't really practice because she's a woman. All of them come from many different places, have many different personal goals, and board this train together because their hopes and dreams are to usher in a new century and a future in a foreign land. However, they encounter another migrant boat drifting on the high seas, and it turns their journey into a terrifying nightmare. Surely the first episodes will bring a lot of big question, issues worth pondering. This makes us tend to pay more attention to the clues and mysteries, because surely no one wants to miss the important details to predict the outcome. The interesting thing about the series is that slash it is only until the last episode that everything is gradually revealed, which is also confusing when viewers often fall into a feeling of not understanding. The story begins with the ship Kerberos departing from Europe to America in 1899. T was the last time of the 19th century that we later called the Age of Light. Did you know in Greek mythology? Which god brought light to mankind? That is Prometheus, also the name of the missing ship that sailed before Kerberos. The journey to the promised land turns into a terrifying nightmare for the passengers when they make the decision to approach the abandoned ship. In the trailer, the audience can easily recognize the clear class distinction between the upper and lower decks. The context is somewhat similar in the classic movie Titanic, 1997. But this order is quickly disrupted when they encounter the Prometheus ship drifting at sea. If Prometheus is a 19th century human ship, then Kerberos is a 20th century human ship, and the captain is German philosophy, the bunker is the unconscious, the wife and three children are virtues. Christians, they are dead. This also corresponds to some of the scenes where the cross is discarded in the film. Kerberos is headed to America, the land of paradise and freedom, but until the end of the film that ship is still lying on the vast sea. In the early 20th century, with the impact of the Light Age, people thought that they would find paradise and absolute freedom, but when we look back, have we achieved it? Or is it like the story in the movie, when Kerberos encounters Prometheus, the compass keeps rotating? When people think that they are absolutely free, free from all traditions, 
They do not know which way to turn. It is like the pessimism of atheist existentialist philosophers, that such freedom is like a curse of anguish, and life as a loop goes on and on. The captain understands that, in that situation, turning back is the best option. But there are countless people who completely don't understand it, especially those who are trying to escape from the past, from suffering or guilt. What do you think the mass suicide in the movie means? And why are some people controlled and others not? People who commit suicide are symbols of those who are still slumbering and drowsy when living in modern times, people who are still controlled by the collective unconscious in their actions. They live by instinct, according to trends, existing thoughts, and not enough capacity to judge that they are right or wrong, when the trend or group laughs, they laugh. When everybody cries, they cry, if everybody commits suicide, they commit suicide, they have no independent thought for themselves. As for those who are not controlled, and also survivors of suicide, they represent independent minds, they know what they are doing, they are awake and fighting for their own lives. Absolute freedom is a very scary thing, it creates chaos, but it also exposes the naked truth, the defects that existed before, freeing what should be free. With the ending, maybe some people think it's real. That's unlikely, maybe it's just another reflection, like a dream of a dream in the movie Inception. Okay. However, whatever it is, reality is always what happens to each character as they are placed, or trapped, in it. Think, if the reality we live in is just a dream of our own, is that why we will not know pain or happiness, or will not be painful or unable to love? That is also the meaning of a sentence in the movie, that reality can be created by a cup of coffee before we are aware of it. What is happening is always reality to us whether it is real or a dream, but when we know it is a dream, we will always try to find a way to open the truth, like a husband and a child trying, after each failure they go further. We find it hard to accept ourselves as existing in a dream, and what do you think can help people wake up? It is love, sacrifice, insight. Để có lòng chấp nhận bản thân mình đang tồn tại trong một giấc mơ. In the first few episodes, this series will provide a mystery drama that continues to evolve, even audiences can feel a different feeling when watching starting in the middle of the episode. The genius of Janch Fries and Baron Bo Oder in presenting this burgeoning plot deserves to be appreciated, because the audience feels like they are included in the story. All the details that remain unrevealed in the upcoming episodes create more confusion and make the audience wonder who is the culprit behind every event happening in this series. While it feels odd, the fun side of this series can finally be revealed and made clear enough for audiences to understand why the tragic events of the 1899 series happened. Volume technology, which replaced the chroma blue screen, is now widely used by production house to ease the shooting process. This technology is mainly for obtaining background projections used in the filmmaking process. The difference is that this setting is replaceable and can be set at the same time. Taking advantage of the real-time engine, it reacts to camera movement on the spot by adjusting perspective, lighting, and other elements in the panel. At first, Baron Bo Oder was skeptical of this technology, as the results could not be maximally achieved. After much trial and error before shooting started, Baron Bo Oder finally managed to capture a pretty satisfactory scene in terms of lighting and 1899 elements. And certainly, 
The audience had a real feeling when this series started from the first episode. The waves, the atmosphere of the background story of each character is shown, everything is very realistic. The movement of each scene, as well as the elements rendered for a series that requires objects like very large ships to feel real, we enjoyed watching the series. Exploring all the existing characters, especially with so many introduced in a series, is a challenge at times. In fact, with eight episodes airing, exploring the characters still doesn't feel enough. Said in 1899 in Europe, where many immigrants from that continent want to change their destiny to a new continent, America, all the characters have their own reasons and circumstances for leaving the homeland. Some of the context given is quite understandable for those who watch it, such as the tragic experience of the Toe family, Clara Rosiger, that makes them want to leave and forget their sad story, Lucien, Jonas Bloquet, comes back. Turns out to be a traitor who wants to escape from where he came from so that his identity is not revealed, and several others. However, there are others that still make us wonder, such as Angel, Miguel Bernardo, and Pastor Ramiro, Jose Pimento, who still have gray backgrounds. If Ramiro wasn't even Spaniard as Angel said, how did they meet? What happened between the two of them? What made them want to leave their homeland? The linguistic element turns out to be a red thread on the human side if we take it back. The language barrier found a solution and made us realize that people can adapt and thrive with emotional ties without having to understand their own language. The multinational cast of characters offers multilingual dialogue that can be a plus but can also be a minus. It's possible that multilingualism is representing the ship's multitudes of populations, but in scenes where the characters are monologues in front of people who don't know what they're talking about because of language differences, this makes things worse and became a little embarrassed because it was hard to believe that other passengers would sit and nod when they didn't understand a word. This series might be one of the favorite shows of Silers who enjoy mystery and sci-fi genres. While the story presented can be said to be quite heavy, we can still enjoy some scenes that will answer the previous episode. It can be said that the resounding success of Dark has partly created a stepping stone and influence since 1899 so that we can confidently place a hope. However, 1899 certainly did not overcome Dark's shadow and could lead to disappointment for some movie buffs. But in short, this is still a movie worth watching when there is a brain investment in the script, the cast and the same context. Thấy video này hay thì hãy like, share và đừng quên đăng ký. Thank you for watching today's video. If you find this video good, please like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to support Ask Pop Entertainment to make more exciting videos.